Back with Bobby and JG Radio, we have Ms. Gladys Hernandez. She's with Leadership SAISD, uh, which is an organization that's been around for about going on eight to nine years. Ms. Uh, Hernandez here is, uh, she was nominated for Teacher of the Year with the San Antonio Independent School District. And a couple years ago, she was valedictorian of the Alexander Briseño Leadership Development Program. I'm going to say congratulations on that. Thank you so much. Awesome. Those leadership programs. Teacher of the Year, how does that happen? So she just she cares about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're they're making a movie out of you, right? A nomination. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they are. Yeah. <laughs> they might be. <laughs> no, there's people who have to. They vote on too. teachers. Oh, yes. I didn't know this. Yes, yes. Well, now I know. So, mm-hmm. None yeah. of my teachers were teachers of the year, by the way. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were you, you weren't anything either, right? So, oh, me? Yeah. No. Okay, yeah. makes sense then. Yeah. yeah. Two people. Total opposite. <laughs> yeah. So talk about, uh, well, first and foremost, thanks for hanging out with us today. Yes, thank you for having us. Sure. So uh, Leadership SAISD, talk about that. Who are you guys and what are you doing? Yeah, so we're a small 501c3 nonprofit organization. And what we're all about is really bringing civically minded individuals together across industries who are really passionate and interested in getting involved in our educational landscape here in our city. So our cohort usually consists of educators, uh, professionals across industries, administrators, caregivers, parents, who are just, again, wanting to make a positive impact in education and learn about our educational system. Sure. So give me an example of someone that that someone might not think would be part of the organization that could contribute to the organization some way. Absolutely. So we welcome, again, any individual who is really interested in mm-hmm. learning about education and wanting to make an, a positive impact in sure. our city's educational landscape. So to give examples of some of our cohort members, we have um, educators who are really wanting to understand, I'm a leader in the classroom with my students, but how can I carry out my educational leadership in a different aspect? So whether it be educational policy, understanding that better, getting involved. Um, we have individuals too, one cohort member right now, he's a neurosurgeon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he, his two daughters are just starting school. And so he wants to know how can he, as a dad, better get involved in his daughter's educational system and sure. programming. Um, as someone who, again, like, you know, is very different from our usual right. traditional makeup. Um, but then individuals, too, like in industries, in finance, in government that are just wanting or have a branch in their existing organizations that does philanthropical work within education or they have internship programs, et cetera. So we're really open to anyone with that lens. And how did you go from... Or what was your journey starting to become part of that organization? Sure. So my journey, I came to San Antonio through Teach for America. Mm-hmm. And I was always very passionate about getting involved in education and really helping to understand how our communities work and what kind of opportunities can we create for our students who sometimes you know, might not have the means to have access and opportunity. And I quickly went into the classroom as a fifth grade science teacher and then from that position I um, then joined the Duseum and I worked closely there with their program and their equity work in really bringing kids on scholarship basis as well as educators through their professional development programming. So a lot of work in partnership with SAISD and their leadership development for their teachers at an elementary level. And when I saw this opportunity with Leadership SAISD, I was just really excited because it really bridges education and leadership development for working professionals that, again, are wanting to make a positive impact in our city's education. Are you still teaching currently? I am not teaching currently, but I now see, so while I have withdrawals Mm -hmm. of being in the classroom Mm -hmm. at times, um, because it's a wonderful experience working with kids in a classroom, um, now I am just reminded reminding myself of how my work in the development of our curriculum and our leadership development program directly impacts professionals that they're impacting mm-hmm. students um, in various capacities. So how do you feel like the ABLDP helped you in, in all of this? Oh, absolutely. ABLDP was very formative um, in me being in this role now in the sense of really sitting at a table with individuals of various industries. So I was 
specifically positioned on our education action team. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting at a table with engineers, with uh, financial experts. Uh, I was sitting at a table with uh, doctoral uh, candidates at the time. And it was so fascinating to see that, oh wow, there are other individuals in the community that are outside of a classroom that want to make positive impact in classrooms. Sure. And to be able to collaborate with them and really work on developing and incubating an idea and doing something about it aligned to our city's indicators. So we were very focused to what are the needs of San Antonio through San Antonio 2020's vision. And really seeing that at play really opened my perspective to really realizing that in in San Antonio, mm -hmm. individuals are passionate about education regardless of which industries they're in, and we can come together as a collective to really discuss about what are the needs and do something about it. Uh, sure. Can can you talk about how you, what you've been able to do or what changes you've made or how we've impacted um, SAISD or the school district or, or the students? Sure, so uh, Leadership SAISD alone as an entity has already graduated over 160 alumni. Mm -hmm. uh, one specifically serves on the State Board of Education, nice. which is really great mm -hmm. in having a voice at the table. And we have individuals who have gone on to serve on board of trustees for school districts. Uh, we have individuals who have chosen to stay in the classroom. So to really understand and explain to kids if they see differences of, well, I have some colleagues that go to a different, more affluent school district and they have this at their school. Why is it that we don't have maybe, you know, such a nice whiteboard or things of that nature? Mm -hmm. Well, there are some systematic reasons for that mm -hmm. and let's have conversations about that. So to really empower educators with that knowledge to then share and do so sen with a sensitive um, language in speaking to kids can really broaden perspective and change so, the culture a little bit exactly <clears throat> yes and and in and a sense also too of empowering with information and do you feel that it's really mm -hmm. what makes leadership saisd unique absolutely i think leadership saisd has that diversity and bringing a variety and diverse amount of individuals to the table in really taking what is learned in the program back to schools and in addition to that it's the only premier educational leadership development program that's offered at no cost to it. participate in the yeah. world no at least it's <laughs> at least it's i don't know about that <laughs> 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 my market research is that broadly <laughs> so it seems really awesome um for more information if anyone's here listening you want to get involved or get some more information you go to leadership saisd.org and that's leadership saisd.org Take a quick break. Be right back with Bobby and JJ Radio.